I like just need some water. Good evening and welcome back to Too Little Too Late News, where our stories are as reliable as the green line. I'm Dick Cheney. And I'm pretty sure he's a war criminal. Now for the news. The NFL sent a warning to every team after Tom Brady broke two tablets on the sideline in week two. You should have seen the warning they sent after he kissed his kids on the lips. Brady commented, this was the first time ever that Giselle's card didn't go through when I tried to buy my Candy Crush gems. We're all human. Boris Johnson accidentally thanked Vladimir Putin for his inspirational leadership instead of Zelensky. And then he accidentally undid Brexit. Governor Newsom recently signed a bill that decriminalized most jaywalking in California. Still legal, however, is jaywalking while committing murder. Recently, Pizza Hut invented the Italian taco to rival Taco Bell's Mexican pizza. The item consists of a taco shell, meat, and a doctor's note for three weeks worth of sick days. Police were called to a Dairy Queen in Delmont for a man with a gun wearing a clown wig. Officers said the man told him he was undercover and working to restore Trump to President King of the United States. In unrelated news, it has been 14 days since the disappearance of Ronald McDonald. UC Berkeley is now offering a Nicki Minaj course for their spring semester. It's reported that while some classes are only for upperclassmen, this one is for the boys with the booming system. Oscar Mayer, the beloved hot dog company, recently started selling cold dogs, popsicles, in select cities. To compete with them, popsicles started grinding up all their characters on their popsicles and selling them like hot dogs. 15,000 Ukrainians have decided to have an orgy if Russia deploys nuclear weapons. If they don't deploy, they will be holding a 15,000-person celebration orgy. The iPhone 14 keeps accidentally calling 911 on roller coasters. To counteract, local politicians decreed Disney World under martial law and have taken Mickey and Minnie Mouse into custody. Texas Pete Hot Sauce is reportedly facing a lawsuit because it's made in North Carolina, not Texas. Interesting, says the New York Giants, who play in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Best-selling romance novel inspired by fan fiction about Star Wars' Rey and Kylo Ren is becoming a movie. The story follows a character that makes no sense, who falls in love with another character that makes no sense, directed by a director who makes no sense. Too much? I hate the new Star Wars movies if that wasn't apparent. And if it was apparent, I'm coming for you, Disney. This 10-year-old boy makes art that sells for over $100,000. He takes his parents' divorce filings and he draws that cool little S over them. The Bible's New Testament is being spoken aloud from memory, word for word, at a Texas event, which is part of a new initiative to prove that Texans can, in fact, read. A woman who can smell Parkinson's helped scientists develop tests. Her brother, who can taste Alzheimer's, is furious. More than $2,100 was stolen from a Taco Bell in Pennsylvania. Coincidentally, Pennsylvania ranks last among the nation's plumbing efficiency rating. A pastor who gave kids I Heart Hot Youth Pastors stickers was placed on leave. The Pope is expected to promote him in the coming days. Dutch City looks into a pardon for witches that were murdered in the 17th century. That's good that they're doing this. We'd hate for anything bad to happen to the people who were wrongfully accused. A 140-year-old pair of Levi's was found in a mine shaft and then sold for over $87,000. Even 140 years ago, people still saw Levi's and said, I'm just going to get rid of these. During a debate, Herschel Walker flashed a fake police badge in a Georgia debate against Raphael Warnock. Democrats are now considering giving him a fake Senate office. A man reportedly played his saxophone through a nine-hour, very complex brain surgery to remove a tumor. The surgery itself was only an hour, but the doctor kept breaking out into long solos. The head of the Congressional Ethics Office was charged with a DUI after crashing into a Pennsylvania home. According to the head of the Congressional Ethics Office, this is totally chill. A young man became allergic to orgasms, but there's a happy ending. He became a BME major at Boston University. A Florida man wearing a No Seriously, I Have Drugs t-shirt was arrested for possession of drugs. His lawyer is reportedly trying to stop him from wearing a No Seriously, I'm Guilty shirt at the trial. It was reported by BBC News that BU created a deadly COVID virus, which is not the first time the Brits have thought, what are they doing in Boston? An agency says that the BTS members will serve in the South Korean military. After this, they will be changing their group name to BTSD. And that's all for today's stories. You ever wonder what it would be like to lose your mind? Like, to truly, fully lose your mind? Did you check under your pillow? Good night, Roswell. <laughs>